Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to Egypt. Be proud of Egypt. Be proud of your country. Be proud you are Egyptian. Long live Egypt. Long live Egypt. Egypt has witnessed recently a golden parade that has taken place in Cairo. All the world witnessed it curiously. Uh, we are hoping that event will increase our national income, particularly in tourism. Egypt's Golden Parade has had strong rebels in the entire region of the Middle East and North Africa, reigniting national feelings in many countries in the area. This grand braid conveyed 22 ancient Egyptian royal mummies in special capsules. Across the capital Cairo on Saturday, to a new museum home where they can be displayed in greater splendor. The convey transported 18 kingdoms and the four queens, mostly from the new kingdom, from the Egyptian Museum in Central Cairo's Tahrir Square to the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Fustat, about five kilometers, three miles to the southeast. Authorities shut down roads along the Nile for the elaborate ceremony, designed to drum up interest in Egypt's rich collections of antiquities when tourism has almost entirely stalled because of COVID-19 related restrictions. As the real mummies arrived at the museum, which was officially inaugurated on Saturday, cannon fired a 21-gun salute. The president stood by the mummies, filled the past on vehicles bedigged with golden pharaonic motives. The heads of the United Nations Cultural Agency UNESCO and the World Tourism Organization were also present at the ceremony. Each mummy had been placed in a special capsule filled with nitrogen to ensure protection. Egyptian archaeologists, the Hawass, they were carried on vehicles designed to cradle them and provide stability. We choose the Civilization Museum because we want, for the first time, to display mummies in a civilized manner an educated manner and not for amusement as you were in Egyptian museum. Archaeologists discovered the mummies in two patches at complex of military temples of Deir el-Bahari and Lausur and the nearby valley of the kings from 1871. The oldest is that of Signar Tao, the last king of the 17th dynasty who reigned in the 16th century BC and is thought to have met a violent death. The braid also included mummies of Ramses II, Siti I, and Ahmos Libertari. Fustat, the home of the new museum, was the site of Egypt's capital under the Omoy dynasty after the Arab conquest. Welcome back to Egypt. Don't forget, Egypt is a land of peace, tolerance, and coexistence. And what is more important, to witness our modern civilization in all fields. We are waiting you.